how to form accountability partnerships for adults with ADHD. Uh, I'm Scott Fain, and I do have adult ADHD. What that means to uh, anyone watching this is it makes things more challenging. Productivity is more challenging. Getting things accomplished from point A to point B is just more challenging. Uh, forgetfulness, um, being easily distracted by things. Um, and it's always a, a good reason and excuse to be distracted by something, you know. It's never just, well, sometimes it is uh, silly distractions, but there are always going to be more distractions or just uh, when it comes to self-talk or whatnot, you're, you wind up talking yourself out of certain things because other things seem more important. Uh, that's just one of the few of the ways that it manifests for me. Um, with this article, uh, one of the things that they're discussing in it is about forming uh, accountability partnerships and an accountability partnership is one where in my case for instance um, it would be to set up something so that you just have someone that you can uh, communicate with to kind of keep you honest you know not necessarily beat you up or or anything like that but just keep you honest about what it is you want to accomplish what it is you can accomplish and, and uh, getting it done on a certain deadline and and just being able to have someone to follow up with you, you know, um, with the article, this particular one uh, actually breaks down the three types of accountability, which I, I found useful. Uh, personal accountability. That's the one that uh, people who are like me uh, start off with. You know, I started off hard with personal accountability. You know, I can, keep, you know, I'll uh ask the questions how am I doing with this how am I doing with that and it works for a little while and then uh, until it doesn't until it doesn't really um, the second one is public accountability that's the one where you put it out there on Facebook or your social media or what have you saying that um, oh I'm gonna go do this 5k run that's the example that they give I'm gonna do a 5k run and I'm gonna start from the couch to the 5k and um, basically you have you you're opening yourself up to, I suppose, public shame by not doing that thing. Or if, you know, if that's important to you and, and that motivates you and it works cool, that doesn't quite work for me because sometimes I just don't care what people think, uh, about me or, or what I'm doing and, and things like that. I can turn it off and on sometimes. Um, the one that does work for me is a partner accountability to a certain degree. It's a struggle every day, but, uh, having someone, who, not someone who's nursemaiding you, you know, did you do this, did you do that, did you do that? That's not what I'm talking about. It's more so a sense of just being able to communicate with someone and say, these are my goals, these are my plans, and just having someone to check in with you uh, on a daily basis. Um, even my situation right now is not perfect, but every day I try and work to get a little bit better and a little bit better at it, a little bit better with it. Um, and what that's one of the things that the article is talking about is finding the right partner, um, someone that you feel good about yourself with because uh, you don't want to be that person who's feeling crappy and finding other people to make you feel worse so you find feel good about yourself and sharing similar personal values and uh, that's a that's an important part of it and one of the things that I see out and about in the world uh, when I'm dealing with people is symptoms similar to mine but different you know uh, a little bit different but similar to mine in in the sense that can't be productive with certain things, you know, and need a little bit of accountability, a little bit of follow up with with folks. So ADHD is a problem, um, but it's one that we can work on together, I guess is my point. This was a concise yet informative article that focused on the solution more than it did the problem. I appreciate the writer's approach because some people with ADHD can be a little sensitive to their condition. Parents of children with ADHD can also be a little sensitive as well. I guess that's just the way the world is set up. It's like very few people want to talk about the main issues in life, let alone work together to come up with solutions. My goal is to bring more awareness to ADHD and what we can do to help make life easier for those with ADHD. A link to the article will be in the description below. Please help spread the word by sharing this link with someone you know that may have ADHD or someone with children with ADHD. Thanks for watching. As it relates to ADHD, uh, my big thing is sometimes you have to be able to admit you have a problem before you can begin to solve it. So that's my thing. Let's admit it if we have it and start working on ways to fix it and be better every day. 
That's all we're trying to do. It's like all I'm trying to do is get better every day, a little bit better than yesterday. Have a great day.